Hey guys, I'm documenting my journey of how I'm building an AI startup from zero to million dollars using NA10. So here's the problem that I'm trying to solve. Business owners want to build a personal brand on LinkedIn to get more clients, but they don't have time to make content. And here's my solution. AI that makes top quality content for them authentic, valuable to their target audience and viral in just 30 minutes per week. And here's the current state of my product. I want to document all the metrics so you understand where we are at right now and how we're trying to improve. So right now I have one paid customer, one free customer. In total, we have generated almost 100k views. We've posted 55 posts and my LinkedIn currently has 2.5k followers. And here's my profile. And before I'll start working, I want to share with you some really cool productivity tip. So I got two phones and because I want to lock in, I just put them into a suitcase. I put them there in a lock with the lock. So I have literally no chance to open it. Right now it's 8.30 until 4 p.m. I'm not getting no phones. They're turned off. Fuck distractions, let's go. And now I want to show you some progress that I did today. So here's the workflow for my free client, Reese. He's doing marketing for crypto companies. And basically, as you can see, this green part is a new generated piece of content. So I'll show you how it works. So when we go here to Notion, here's the database with pieces of content. So here is on the right side, we have the question and the answer. And then based on that, a piece of content that is generated. And look at this uh, copywriting, like it's awesome. I knew Cleaving would replace paid ads when my four year old brother said, oh no, another ad trying to make me buy this product. He's four. So basically I generated like seven pieces of content right now and copywriting is so much better right now. Before it was way more monotonous. And as you can see, when you read it, it feels light. It feels like every single line, they have different lengths. It actually looks like a real human being wrote it, not AI. To get this level, I actually used this framework from Justin Welsh. Basically, uh, here are 50 best posts that he ever posted with the biggest engagement, like millions of impressions. And I was basically copying and pasting this stuff to the prompt. Already nice improvement in copywriting for today. Let's move further. I just finished watching the course by Justin Welsh. As you can see, all 41 out of 41 lessons completed, grow and monetize LinkedIn. It was truly valuable. The final lessons, they were on monetization, how to actually sell through LinkedIn, how to maintain the right ratio between give and ask, between providing value and between asking for a sale or for any sort of action. I feel like this is a gold mine of data. More than 40,000 people came for this course. Like it has killer testimonials and I just feel like I have to distill this information and integrate it into the product. Guys, I'm literally blown away by vibe coding. So here is the lead magnet that I've built. I wrote the code using Cloud. Here is the NITN workflow. And as I said, it collects 20 most viral posts from a creator. And then we're creating a PDF file from that. And this is the PDF file that we're getting. It is insane. So Justin Welsh, here's his 20 most viral posts created by me. And here are the posts. Post one, amount of likes, comments, uh, reposts, the date. You can view the original post if you want. And you can scroll it, scroll it, scroll it. It looks really good, very clear, very clean. And I'm going to be giving away the access to this tool for free just uh, as a lead magnet I will be getting the email from a person and hopefully many people will get value from that let's see good morning guys it's Saturday and um, yeah I'm ready to start working it's such a great feeling when you don't have any agenda for today meaning any plans or meetings you can just be completely focused on work. From the night before, I was writing down the goals, the tasks for today. I also prioritized them. So I listed out like nine tasks, but they're all related to improving the system, making more quality content, 
learning the skill set required to produce viral content on LinkedIn and X. And this is awesome because it eliminates the friction in the morning. You know exactly what you have to do. So guys, I was just using my voice to prompt Claude. This is a super useful technique because typing manually is very tedious. Usually you're emitting so much context while prompting an LLM because you don't have much time and you don't have like this effort and this desire to do that. But when you're using your voice, you can speak for five to 10 minutes, explain every single bit of context. And then based on that, the quality of the output will be much higher. I'm using a tool called Whisperflow to do that. So highly recommend. Guys, I want to share something really cool with you. So I was sitting here at the cafe, just eating my meal and uh, right there, like two tables afterwards, there were a party of three beautiful girls. I'm not sure where they're coming from, either Denmark or Netherlands from their language, but I have no idea. And I was just staring at one of them and she was so beautiful, like insanely beautiful, nine out of 10. And before that, I never approached three girls like uh, at a time. So usually uh, it's way easier to, uh, if you find a girl beautiful to approach her when she's walking alone on the street. But now like I was convincing myself to fucking do that and I did it. Um, it didn't really work out because she's married. <laughs> But uh, I don't care, I don't give a damn, like, I did what I had to do. This was an actual alpha move. <laughs> just dropped a new post today as you can see here it is we have a super authentic image that i just filmed right here so it is not ai generated but some people will definitely say it is using nano banana whatever so the best ads aren't ads at all and here i'm telling about the quote by mark andreessen this guy is super famous like millions of people know him he is one of the biggest startup influencers in the silicon valley and uh, basically I'm using his quote, a well-targeted ad at a specifically relevant point in time is actually content. It enhances the experience. And the main idea is that the high quality ads, they're actually teaching you something new, inspiring you to take action and entertaining you while scrolling. And basically this is the blend of the quote from an, a trusted authority and my own take on it. Because I'm not that much of an expert in the niche yet, I have to rely on trusted authorities, so my content is more trustworthy and people resonate and uh, actually extract value from that. So this is the approach of documenting by Justin Welsh, whereby I'm not leading, I'm just using ideas for, from others to educate people that are my audience. And this post is actually created my, using my AI system. So if you go here to the Google Sheet where the whole content management is happening, we have two uh, columns here, idea and meet. And as you can see, the idea is basically the high level description of what the post will be about. And the meet is the tangible facts, quotes, etc., that we can build the post on. On. And then these two parts I collected manually and the whole content generation was done using an A10, using my workflow right here. So it's generating two versions, a short and a long one. And today I was updating the prompts. So right now inside we have 20 examples of top tier content by Justin Welch and other creators with like half a million plus audiences on LinkedIn. And basically I'm using their viral hooks, their viral copywriting techniques to use in my copy as well. And as you can see, in my opinion, this post has the right structure. I'm not sure how it will perform, we'll see, but we're moving, moving the quality of the system one step at a time.
Now I want to share with you a productivity hack real quick, guys. So here's a Chrome extension called Block Site. I'm using it to block out any sort of social media while I'm working. So as you can see, even LinkedIn is blocked because, because I'm working with this social media, I have so much temptation to go and check out the engagement, the comments, how the content is performing, like to get this little dopamine hit. And with this thing, I can never do it. And when I'm actually trying to open my LinkedIn, here's the screen that I'm getting, as you can see. Nice try, but we are not allowed to go there. So I'm trying to really be focused from very early time when I'm waking up to let's say 4 p.m. and not allow myself any social media and I'm locking my phone in the suitcase for this time as well. So highly recommend. I want to share with you a real cool feature that I'm building right now. So it will be suggesting visuals for the post on LinkedIn. So as you can see, here is an example of great post made by Greg Eisenberg. He's speaking about Q4 and how your business can prepare for it. And here is an image that is obviously grabbing attention a lot. That's a great infographic showcasing the ideas that are written inside the post. And Coming up with these visuals is actually hard. Like you have to think what can work complementary, what can grab attention, so it's not easy. And for that reason, I'm now building a functionality here inside the workflow. Basically, after we're generating two versions of the post, then we will have an image suggestion uh, that will play well with those posts. Just use Nana Banana to actually generate this image and look at it. We have paid ad, skip, scroll, 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 then organic clip stops and watches. Paid ad, skip, organic clip, trust. And then paid ad again, and here a customer is buying. So this post apparently very clearly showcasing the idea, providing a visual that is helping a person to digest this piece of content. And obviously it will perform better than just text only post. That's the power. I have to add this feature fully. So we have all of those images actually plugged into the Google Sheet and we can post it instantly. And now I want to share some progress that I made to packaging of my LinkedIn. So how your profile looks like is very important and this will help you sell your services through your LinkedIn presence. So as you can see right now, I have a professional banner here. Build an authentic personal brand in just 30 minutes per week using AI. And here is a little bit of the social proof to showcase that I am a real expert, that I know my stuff, that I'm an ex AI engineer from top tech firms. Here are three billion dollar tech firms and that I have grown my YouTube to 13 K subs, which means that I already have some experience when it comes to building content and when it comes to AI. That's why you can trust me. That's why you can work with me. I made this profile banner using the materials of the course about LinkedIn that I just recently learned through. So in my opinion, this is way better and it's communicating clearly to a potential customer, what am I about? So if you want to look more professional, definitely invest time into your profile picture and into this banner. Here is a buddy of mine who has grown his LinkedIn to almost 32,000 followers. That is crazy. And he started out only with 2,000. His main service is SaaS for freelancers. He is helping them to do cold outreach on Upwork so they can land more jobs, right? And now he's selling his stuff through LinkedIn. The strategy that he implemented is very genius. He never wrote any post from scratch. He found another creator on LinkedIn that is in adjacent niche. This creator is posting about cold outreach on LinkedIn and he's also selling a SaaS that helps to do that. And this guy, my buddy, he's basically copying all of his viral posts, just replacing the word LinkedIn with the word Upwork. And he also goes viral. And this is the exact playbook that he used to grow to this amount of followers. This is crazy and I started doing the same thing myself. So check this out, this post, I originally made it without viral replication. I just posted it myself, write the text myself, used my own image and my post got only 470 impressions. I realized this is not enough. 
it can probably do better. And I found a similar post in the decent, in the similar niche. And then I adjusted it and bam, you can see right now my post has more than 5,000 impressions and more than 100 comments. This is crazy. It like more than 10 X the result just by using the viral replication. And now I will show you the reference post in this second. So here's the reference post. Don't pay 10 to 25K per month for a sales team. And here's like description of his tool. And this post got more than 1000 comments. And here is my post. Don't hire a four to 8K month agency to grow your LinkedIn. And here's the description of my tool. And bam, you can see the image is super similar to his original one, but my audience and his audience, they're completely different. They will never see that, but I'm using like the hook and the structure that are already proven to work. That's why I'm increasing my chances of going viral 10x. And I'm already implementing this into my AI system so we can use it across me and my clients at scale. I decided to record this outro from the rooftop. It's a beautiful place. I want to share a final thought. While I'm building this product, of course, I'm focused on making money and making this service as good as possible. But another thing that is also important is building a valuable skill set along the way. I know that I'm attracting the skills when it comes to copywriting, marketing, grabbing attention, packaging the content in a way that it is super palatable and consumable by a wider audience. And I know that this skill set is super valuable and it is transferable. If I want to switch to a different niche further on down the line, I will be able to do that and I will be able to monetize this skill set. So guys, I'm highly encouraging you to also be focused on the skills that you're building along the way, not only on the paycheck that you're trying to make. And on this note, let's continue our $1 million journey. And if you have not yet seen the first episode, check it out right here.